bit nervous, I'm sure I will be tomorrow, but, but I know what I've got to do, I know what I can do, so I'm just try and put it together, have a good one. World Championship is all going to be about being capable to hold on the pressure, but it's different. World Cup skills and World Champ skills are different. Even if it's the same person at the top, it's not the same skills that actually make you go ahead. Basically, in mountain biking, you have two titles. You have the World Cup Series, and uh, then you also have the one-day event, which is the World Championships. The guy who wins on that day gets to wear the World Championship stripes and be the world champion of our sport for a full year. You win that race and you're the world champion for the next year. If you win the World Cup Series, you're not the world. You can't call yourself a world champion, you know. And that's pretty much everyone's dream is to be the world champion. <laughs> Run world champs. It was warm enough at the top. It was super hot. Felt real sick. I threw up. Went to the start line. Pretty much had everything dialed. Sam's run at the Worlds was seriously amazing. You know, I couldn't believe how, how pinned he was. You know, he was on the edge, dude, all the way down. He'd put everything on the line and, and he was pushing harder than I think we've ever seen Sam push. People were sort of silent when he was coming down because of the speed he was going and the split time that he put into Petey. Jumped back on my bike as quick as I could. I was in the hardest gear. My left crank arm was bent pretty much hitting my swing arm and just pinned it as hard as I could, pedal into the finish and uh, came across the line in second, I think half a second off Petey. And uh, that was my title gone, see you later. And uh, I, was, I was pretty emotional about it, pretty upset. And um, yeah, just felt like I let myself down, let my team down, let my country down. At that split second, I think I'm just like head in my hands, like, whoa, this is crazy. And um, actually, at that point, I've never had much luck at World Championships. This the British rider, second in the World Cup in 1999. He was fastest in the seeding runs with a time of 4 0 Steve Peake, the silver medalist for the past two years on his course, on the course here in Caprun. The man who lost out to Miles Rockwell at Sierra Nevada and to Nicholas Williams last year. 
It's a horrible feeling when you sat in the hot seat and you, you'd see someone come down faster than you. Whoever it is, however, by however much time it is, it's still a horrible feeling. The one race that plays on my mind the most as being my biggest loss would be Leger World Championships. <laughs> As soon as that happened, everyone, I think, thought, you know, maybe this is justice. Maybe this is Petey. For all those years, he's been the fastest guy on the hill. He's going to win because someone crashed. At that point, I thought, finally, like, my luck's changed. Sam, awesome on that track. Should have won hands down pretty much with that run. But I finally got a bit of good luck. Steve's in the hot seat sitting there. You know, Steve was just sat there. I sat next to him because I thought Steve was definitely going to win it. And, and I, I just looked to Steve and just shock. So sitting watching G, he was the last man on the hill. Fellow compatriot. Even though I like G and I want him to do good, definitely didn't want him to do good at that race. <laughs> it was, uh, I've never won Worlds and it's a, it's a big, big race that it's the only one left to tick off in my career. And uh, <laughs> G was coming down up on me at the split and uh, I, I was just, praying for him to have a crash like Sam, pretty much. To be truthfully honest, yeah, I wanted him to crash. <laughs> I wanted to win that race. And uh, <clears throat> even where, like, coming into that final section, he's sprinting along the easiest part of the track and thinking, slip a pedal, like, do something, crash. Like, this, I need some luck. And uh, obviously didn't happen. And then G won. And I was so devastated for Steve, like, he just looked like he, he just didn't want to be there at all. He looked like he just wanted to disappear, but he, he dealt with it pretty good and went and saw G and G was over the moon. So it was a great day for the Athertons, but pretty devastating for Steve, I should think. Mm. I'm talking about... <laughs> Good champion, dude, that'll do me. Mate, pretty pleased. Pretty bloody pleased, dude. I'm absolutely stoked. Here, <laughs> Reggie! And it's quite hard in sport when you make friends with people and uh, your friends are actually the people you're racing against especially in a situation like that. I think Steve has helped a huge amount like in British cycling and, and the mountain biking sport on the whole. You know, he's an incredible character. And I think it'd be hard, for, hard push to find someone that didn't look up to Steve in, in the mountain bike, in the bike world. I've no doubt in my mind, like he's the main reason why the Brits are so strong at the moment because Steve was always there as like a, an idol and, and someone for all the young British riders to grow up, to, to want to be like. And, and I don't think anyone will ever be as successful or as like held on a higher as high a pedestal as P.